Good evening, everybody out there in TV land. This is John Gritton, your uh, unofficial Halloween correspondent here at PLG. Uh, we have a, a very awesome event to tell you about tonight. We have um, the FFA uh, Field of Terror coming up. It's put on by the Nelson County High School and Thomas Nelson High School FFA clubs. And it's, uh, it, it takes place out there behind Thomas Nelson High School, which is off of 245. Um, and they have a huge field out there. And we talked with uh, teachers John Hammond and Jacob Ball about just how this thing goes down. This is actually the second year that we've had uh, the Field of Terror at Thomas Nelson. In the past, we operated as Wickland Corn Maze, and we were there for about seven years. Uh, so about the ninth year in operation. Hey, it was originally a idea uh, with the friends of Wickland at the Wickland Estate uh, to get some use of the land out there and plant corn. And, and the FFA advisors at the time decided to do a haunted, haunted trail as a fundraiser for students. And when Thomas Nelson High School was built, uh, the district had land that we could utilize here uh, that would save us some money and be on school property and make things a little bit easier. Um, but it's just a fundraiser opportunity that originated from Wickland and moved out here. And it's just something that the, uh, the kids love to do uh, every year. And it's just a, it's a major fundraiser for both chapters. It's a joint, joint fundraiser between Nelson County and Thomas Nelson. Uh, and it's completely operated by all students and all the proceeds from the maze uh, is split equally between the, between the two chapters and goes toward paying for uh, travel, FFA events, scholarships for students, uh, and other expenses throughout the year, but it all goes back to the students. We have about 50 to 60 a night um, you know, from, from both schools, um, so most likely um, at one point most of our FFA members from both schools will attend and be here. Um, so somewhere around 150 to 200 students will be uh, be involved in the maze at some point. Well, last year we, by the end of the, the entire month of October, uh, we had between 1,300 and 1,500 people. Uh, we hope to uh, exceed. Uh, our goal is about 500 people a night, and we're open five nights this year. So at uh, the amazing number that we're shooting for, so hopefully 2,500 people will go through the maze uh, throughout the month of October. And we're open five nights this week. Five nights this year. Uh, we open this Friday, this Saturday, October 12th, and we're also open October 19th, October 25th, October 26th, and November 1st. And each night we are open from 8 p.m. and the last people are uh, put through the maze at 11 p.m. When you come to Thomas Nelson on uh, any of our corn maze nights, you're going to pull in just like you're going to a basketball or football game. Pull into the student parking lot, uh, park your car, you'll go to the ticket booth, purchase your tickets, uh, then you can purchase concessions from there. You'll get on a hayride, that'll take you down to uh, the actual corn maze. Then you'll walk through the maze, you'll see about 18 different scenes, about 40 kids, 40 students a night will be in the maze scaring you. Uh, so throughout that, it'll take about 30 minutes, it's about a mile path. And uh, afterwards, you get a hayride back to the front where you can get your cars or you can pay to go again. Uh, again, the dates on that are October 12th, 19th, 25th, and 26th, as well as November 1st. Uh, it's from 8 to 11 p.m. The last group will go through at 11 p.m. Uh, it's $8 for individuals. It is $5 group admission, which is 10 or more. And they wanted me to mention that um, on October 26th from 4.30 to 6, they're going to have a non-haunted kids trick-or-treat night where um, they're gonna have the, the maze open for kids to go through and trick or treat and wear their costumes and it's not gonna be a scary event, but it'll just be a fun event for the kids. And again, that's October 26th um, from 4.30 to 6. So uh, you can either uh, bring a canned good and $2 or the admission is $3 per person for that trick or treat event. So it's going to be a great event. Come on out guys, uh, support your local FFA. 100% of the proceeds go back to the club. So uh, it's just a great event to, uh, to support your local, uh, local schools and programs. And hey, it's Halloween. So what's not to love? Thanks guys. Have a good weekend.